If you're trying to play Valorant and are running into issues like your TPM 2.0 not working or Valorant or Vanguard asking you to enable secure boot, this video is for you. My name is Adullah, you're watching Candido Technology and in this video we're going to fix all of your secure boot related errors in Valorant. If you're running into errors like Vanguard requires secure boot or Van 9003 or Van 9001 or basically any other Valorant error that says you need to enable secure boot or TPM or anything of the sort, the chances are it's an easy fix. You just need to head to the BIOS and fix the problem. Now, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to press the Windows key icon and search for MS Info, uh, which leads us to system information. Go ahead and click that. Now this will open up. Now what you have to do is uh, find your BIOS mode. Make sure that this is set to UEFI and uh, look around for a secure boot state and make sure that this is set to on. If you have these two settings enabled and are still experiencing the issue, just go ahead and restart your PC and Valorant will start working just fine. Uh, you can also try running it in compatibility mode but in most cases if these two settings are enabled valorant should run just restart your system you'll be good to go but if the bios mode and the secure boot state or something of the sort isn't working as expected then uh, we're going to have to head over to our bios to possibly fix this issue so here's how to do that press windows key plus i to open windows settings uh, we are going to system head to uh, recovery now uh, you see this restart st uh, advanced startup option we're going to go ahead and re-click on restart now what this will do is this will allow us to boot into our bios uh, without having to find around what bios key you're using or anything of the sort so let me boot into bios and i'll see you there so once your pc restarts you will see a screen like this what we're going to do is click on troubleshoot uh, and then head over to advanced options now uh, you will see a bunch of options here we're going to go click on uef uefi firmware settings and click restart again now this will take a second but this should now boot into our system's bios so here we are now uh, now your system's bios might look completely different from this so don't worry about it uh, the most important thing is that you find the secure boot configuration and make sure that it's enabled uh, so secure boot is enabled and secure boot mode uh, is set to standard no fancy settings required here uh, other than that head over to the boot section of your bios and make sure that the boot mode select is set to uefi uh, don't set it to legacy uh, that might help you installing some operating systems or things like that but uh, in most cases uefi is the way to go once you're done with these two settings go ahead and uh, save your changes so click save changes and reset press enter save configuration and reset press enter again now this will reboot your pc and you should be able to launch valorant just fine if you like this video consider subscribing give us a thumbs up press the bell icon and tell us in the comments below what more such content can we make for you if you'd like to know more about tech visit our website candidate technology follow us on social media follow me on instagram or twitter and we'll see you in the next video